Hi everyone, so I'm back with another fun tutorial for you guys. I think this is my first tutorial back since Idaho. So I'm a little rusty, had to do a lot of editing. So I'm sorry if it ends up being longer than I want. I've been trying to keep them pretty down. Um, so anyways, I had just gotten the pumpkin and poppy pigments right before I had to go to Idaho. And I only got the chance to show you guys uh, one look with them. There was a couple Facebook looks I did using Street Rat and Jasmine. And if you use Jasmine on the eyelid, this is basically the same tutorial or look I used to create it. So you could change out whatever colors you want, you know, in the collection. I'll put a link to Pumpkin Poppy down below so you can go ahead and check out that check out her art fire. This is a look I actually created back in January. It has a little less eyeliner and no false eyelashes. I did not end up uploading that tutorial because it was a little harsh and I still needed to work with Lit Cosmetics glitters to kind of get the look I wanted from them because I had never really used glitter bases and stuff like that in my um, my work. They can end up looking really harsh if you don't quite learn to tackle them, especially with a very clear glue you can't see. So I wanted to create, recreate it for you guys, but I want it to look much more fresh and summery since it is the summer season. This is a new glitter I just got from Lit. Um, it was sent to me out of the kindness of uh, Jody's Heart, who's the owner of Lit Cosmetics, and this color is called Festive. So I'm actually going to go ahead and blog post this lovely color for you guys with my new blog post setup so you can go ahead and see this color for yourself. I do have a few new lights in here now so I do hope that everything looks a lot more um, aesthetically pleasing. Um, I might need to still move lights around eventually one day if I can get a light over my head but I have really nothing hanging on at the moment. So I really hope this helps. Alright so I hope you enjoy the tutorial and thanks so much for watching. So to get started on the face, I've already prepped and primed my face, I've already uh, filled in my brows and applied the 100% Pure Organic Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream and my, nat my all-natural face magic vegan eyeshadow primer, which I think is very comparable to um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, sort of, but it's got sort of the ease of application when it comes to things like Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now I'd like to begin by applying Three Wishes from the Pumpkin Poppy Aladdin collection. Or I think the collection's called Arabian Nights, sorry. If you like Versailles from her the All Natural Light uh, Nights collection, or yeah, sorry, the All Natural collection, or if you like Trophy Wife from Glamour Doll Eyes, you might really like Three Wishes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with the eyeshadow brush from Sigma from the Mrs. Bunny line, and this is the E55, just a flat, um, shader brush with a little bounce. It's not quite stiff or flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to the eyelid. I'm going to go up in the eyelid a little bit, just right there where the crease is slightly. And kind of hit that mark right there. Just to make my eyelid appear a little bigger. If I go right below it, I end up kind of shutting down my eyelid. So Unless I want the look to be all crease, I usually like to go into the slight crease a little bit. Now I'm going to take Magic Carpet Rag, which is a gorgeous deep purple. This was made to be sort of a matte with a kind of like a, almost like a demi matte. It's got quite a bit of glitter in there. It's like gold, red. I can go ahead and link my blog review that I did for this in the bottom bar if you'd like to check it out. It allows you to see the swatches much better than um, kind of my review I did on YouTube, which I did quite a bit like two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to the outer corner using that same brush, the E55 from Sigma. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this and just sort of blend it into the socket a little bit. For the inner corner, I'm going to take a little bit more of Magic Carpet Ride. I'm going to apply that in the inner corner. I'm going to try to sort of just dust the remainder that I have on the brush. So I like to complete the outer corners first, as you can see. Um, just because if it gets too much pigment in the inner corner, it gets really harsh. So I don't want that at all. 
I'm going to be taking a slightly softer purple to fill in the crease and I'm just going to take a little bit of street rat which is um, kind of a matte but it's once again kind of a semi matte demi matte it's got coppery glitter in here this is definitely supposed to mimic Aladdin's uh, fez and vest so I'm gonna go ahead pick up the pigment sorry as you can see this is quite a bit so I'm gonna go ahead and tap this away and this is the Sigma tapered blending brush number E40 and I really want a gentle soft crease to sort of offset the very smoky effect I've done with Magic Carpet Ride. You can do a darker crease which will really sort of connect it and really sort of open up the center of the eyelid or give the illusion that you have night vision, but I do want a softer crease. I'm going to take it and actually blend it up quite far, maybe, may, maybe too far for most people's liking, but what I really want to do before I get it really soft towards the brow bone is get it a little deeper <clears throat> in a deep socket. I'm really going to try to marry it right here at the tail end of Magic Carpet Ride and I'm just going to blend it completely up and out until the color disappears. There's a lot of great colors in the Pumpkin Poppy permanent line. Um, I know a lot of people actually don't look over her permanent line. She's got, but um, just putting it out there because I know her limited edition collections also get very raved about as most limited edition collections do. But I really love Pumpkin Poppy Cosmetics in the buff. This is just sort of her version of a very naked nudie color. And it's just super peachy. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to the brow bone using the same brush, kind of the other side of it. I like this color because it's kind of bright, but it's not like a frosted white that looks really weird with um, slightly more tanned skin. If you're really porcelain, you're not going to like this color. I would definitely suggest Ice Princess in that case if you're porcelain, or um, go for Louvre for the All Natural Collection, but Louvre's got a very yellow based tone, so you might find it clashes with pink skin. Um, as a personal preference, I like Louvre all the way around, but it's just my personal preference. So I'm going to go ahead and buff that in. Now do what you like for the upper lash line. Everybody's got their preference when it comes to eyeliners, gel liners, and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to take the Tarte Multiply Eyelash Enhancing Liquid Liner. And it does make the lashes stand up a bit because it is waterproof. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a little tail out to the side. You can choose to skip that, mm, that little step if you hate that. Kind of try to stay within the eyeshadows so you don't have all this eyeshadow and then a wing out of it. Sometimes I do the wing out of it to be a little bit more avant-garde, but I don't think it's my go-to really. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep the line thin. Now I've already applied the Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. This is the original formula. I do a lot of nighttime looks, so I do think that this is best for daily wear if you're going to be doing more exotic nighttime looks, like on a daily basis, if you work in Vegas or whatever. I think that one's a little easier, more comfortable. So I'm going to be taking the Lit Festive Glitter, and this is in solid size number three. And I'll do a blog post review of this with swatches and pictures and a picture of this look close up. So you can go ahead and see that. And I'll link that in the bottom bar, of course. And you can go ahead and check that out. I got a new setup for my blog that I showed in my Inglot Lipstick Overview. And this is a gorgeous gold. It's got like red, pink. I mean, it's just, it is kind of geared towards Christmas. But I think the pink kind of offsets it too and kind of helps it look um, like something you can use whenever you want. If it were green glitter, it would be very obvious it was Christmassy. It's just one of those really cool colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Oh, and the lip glitters now come with sifters if you aren't familiar with their redesign of the bottle. but. If you're shopping at IMAX this weekend, this is a good, fun pick up. Because I think if you're going to IMAX, you need a couple fun splurges. Or at least products you've never seen before. 
if you hate shopping on the internet. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil. I've been actually liking this for my waterline versus black or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and take the matte side. The matte side is called Camille. Uh, it's like named after a woman. The other side is called Sand. It's a shimmery stick. I'm just going to go ahead and place this on my lower lash line and kind of just blend that out with my finger a little bit. So for the face, I like to keep it light and fresh. I already have not applied eyelashes. I think it's a little easier in the summer, especially for a look with glitter, which is not really summery at all. But I took the Inglot YSM Cream Foundation. It's just a neutral tan shade. This is number 43, so if you're in this range, it's a nice way to go because it does sort of cancel uh, quite a bit of redness, particularly from sun rays. Um, obviously, it won't reduce texture, uh, no foundation really will, but what I like about it is it does not get into like any fine lines um, or eyelids like underneath your eyes which can make you look aged because it's nice and creamy. It's got coconut oil in it so it's nice and creamy. Uh, for the cheek, I took a Too Faced uh, Full Bloom lip, <laughs> Too Faced Full Bloom Cheek and Lip Cream color and this is in Sweet Pea. It's just a nice berry toned flush and I applied a delicate amount of that. A little goes a long ways. I just stamp two fingers and to the product which is more than enough and I just sort of dab it on the center of the cheek and then just sort of blend it back I don't apply it towards the back of my hairline because it gets like a very sort of 80s harsh look so I just sort of dab it in the center more towards the back and just sort of blend forward and back so we're nearing the end of this tutorial and it's time for some lips. I'm going to be taking the 100% Pure Cream Stick Liner in Perfect Naked Berry. And it's a very lipsticky lip liner. I like 100% uh, Pure Cosmetics a lot. They're all natural and fruit pigmented. This is their red lip liner, so just a heads up. I just featured this in my Inglot lipstick video. This is definitely the one that everybody said they liked, and so I'm going to put this one on. This is the 147. And it's a cream finish, but it's very glazy. I'm finishing off with Too Faced Glamour Gloss in Peekaboo, and it's just a lilac with copper sparkle and a plumping effect. So this create the heart. This is the creation, the end look. It's lavender, purple, coppery, and gold. So the only real color used in it is purple, and everything else is just sort of neutral-like. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this look, and thanks for watching.